¿Qué pasó, mi gente? What's up, people? Mr. Zero. Zero here. Right now, I'm gonna try out this particular kind of game. I'm testing it out as well. Dear Ether. Um, even though that game is nothing much to be seen upon, this is one of those games like a, looks like a bomb that you can walk around and think. Today's vlog, why I'm testing this out, I imagine the AVI is gonna look different. I'm gonna talk about roll kill. Yes, roll kill. Especially when you encounter raccoon or possum on the countryside. When you encounter any raccoon or possum, either from run accidentally running it over, or I know I'm not serious when I have this <laughs> accent, but um, that's to give a thought. You got if you are interested to catching a possum or raccoon dead, first you gotta check its intestines. Try to cut it open. What the fuck am I saying? I'm just joking with that part, even though sometimes when you're serious, you can be taken seriously sometimes. Uh, and now I'm gonna talk about just a little updates. Talk about. Thanks, like why they, why all the vids are somewhat, and games they make you think. Well, you probably look at me at this thinking game. Let's start out why somewhat. While over the van. When you were born, your mother told me a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say. So you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, that you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Sir, you are very depressing. But this game is cheap. I'm a cheap bastard, I might as well play you and enjoy it. The reason why I put some watts in all my vids is because first I'm bad in titles. Second, because um I thought I was unique. Somewhat playful, somewhat blog they made me be creative and sometimes be sincere or be creative. When I do a playful Donnelly's book had not been taken out from the library since nineteen seventy four. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. And sir, you are punishing me with this game. Uh, Honestly, I wanted to be a little bit humble at the same time because I'm not full of myself when I try to do someone. And when I feel like a, the time is right, when I feel like I really enjoy doing playthroughs and such, I will try to invest in myself, um, whether equ um, recording equipment and stuff. Then I'm really just to see, just to see what it looks like in HD graphics and stuff. I know PC games are mostly the hardest thing. Things to record. When someone had died or was dying, and they were so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice. They cut parallel lines into the cliff. PC games are always the, the hardest to record. Beneath. But you at the see same them time, on the mainland or the fishing boat, and like notice and aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. Six. My lines are just for this. Should I jump down? To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Or they want to be Shakespeare. 
But like what I was saying is, um, I like, uh, I wanted to be at least humble because I don't, honestly, I don't have any specific plans to do a, a concrete project, project like Slender or other games I wanted to try out, either for much, it was a cheap sale and I just wanted to record or just a random game of like FTB, like Forsaken World. Um, And sometimes, uh, some random occasion, like if I wanted to play Killing Floor in co-op, I might play a random with a random person I just met because I don't usually have, I don't realistically have um, like friends who can, well acquaintances I can call them, um, who wanted to play a co-op game, either, well, that's for another. That's why one reason why I call somewhat because. I'm bad at titles, it sounded unique, give me some like, leeway to record on whatever I want, or say what I need, whatever I need to say, even though, and then maybe at the same time, I'm not good in most games, and I, I at least wanted to give it a try. Now, since I'm going up here, and this guy is going to talk Shakespeare again, I'm just going to talk about games that make you think. Especially games you don't think, you don't figure that it's not, it's not a real thinking game, but something like it, it is to most people when they want to be some sort of a professional. Or they were God-fearing people, those shepherds. Like Street Fighter, Half Life. Normally tells me that they had your one tournament, Bible that was passed around in And especially location. Team Fortress. It was stolen team by a visiting monk in 1776. Two game years before the Steam. island was abandoned Except altogether. Except that uh, you had to buy weapons. Or you, can, I wonder, or you get uh, drops for, for metal, for hats and, and such. That game, even though it's a shooter mostly, you do ha it requires some strategy, you know. With each class is, well, each class, like a soldier, spy, pyro, engineer, heavy, and scout. You have to require some strategy, like um, study the map of which places is good to hide for a spy. Which uh, places is good to shoot at when you're a, um, a sniper, or um, which places are def you can defend easily without getting attacked by a spy or a sniper? I use a um, soldier as a defensive sniper. Reason being is, well, after I say that, there's and this is also the element of a little bit RPG, meaning that you have to choose the right particular kind of weapons for the for the situation on hand. Like the beggar bazooka, uh, even though it's a joke weapon, it, you you can consider it as um. The fuck. You can consider it as um. A close range weapon, like even though the consequence of holding the bazooka for too long it becomes like a bomb. At the same time. You can use it against a group of people with a medic, probably, and just to take a whole bunch of group of people in Dear a Esther, critical area. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason, or retribution. He still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Orale. Oh, well... It does require a bit of strategy, especially when I use... When, well, the reason why I practice on um, idle servers most of the time, they're, they're useful sometimes when you want to practice. I use a soldier as a defensive sniper when a sniper um, is planning to attack another group with an arrow or um, a gun, like the machine gun. I use a, the, the sniper by hiding a close, hugging the wall and shooting one miss only. Every time when I shoot a missile, hide back, shoot a missile, and try to miss time at the same time. So if the t sniper catches on on your um, what you're doing, you can miss time it so the sniper cannot 
either has to focus on the teammates or has to wait until you come out. At the same time, well, the time passes, it's going to be a, hard, a lot harder to try to um, focus on you and the teammates at the same time. And you can continue doing that like a rapid fire, a little bit of like a um, rapid fire. That way you can focus on shooting the teammates and worry less about the sniper. Or I may be mistaken on that. I usually use a close area so if a spy is near I can... I